little, little. and I'm using my mouth. Mm -hmm. And he's saying little. little. And he's using his, his little. throat, his deeper, little. 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 That's little what man. I know, I know what to pronounce. Little man. Little man. Little man. Little man. And they say between man and men the same. So they'll say, when man, little man, and little man, it's almost the same. But in English, it's little man and little man, and they'll say little man and little man. Mm -hmm. Almost the same. So they change the vowels a lot. Okay. Lil and little. Little? Little. Lil. Yeah. But it depends on the speaker, because there are a lot of American speakers. That's what you're hearing, is that right? Yes, yes. And you can see on the UK button, because I always say, don't believe me. If you have any doubts... Little. Little. Richard. Little. 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 If you have any doubts, you go there. You see what I mean? Go to the Cambridge Dictionary. They have the English, they have the American accent. They don't have all the accents like Australia and New Zealand, but they have the American one yeah. to compare it to. Maybe it's the T and not the L. Okay, what's happening Little. with the T? Because the Let Little. me show you. Let me, let me show you what's happening with the English T when we go into America. So consonants. We have so in Spanish and English the T is the same. No? Tienda mm -hmm. or tent. It's the same. Okay. But when English has an American dialect, mm -hmm. they have different T's. Mm -hmm. They have three T's. In English we have one and it's the same as Spanish. That's mm -hmm. easy. In American they have three T's. So Tent. Mm -hmm. in tent. Let's put in tent. Let's put in tent in the dictionary. This is good exercise. Tent. And let's hear, hear, let's listen to the pronunciation tent with the English and the American. Tent. 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 It's the same. It's not quite the same. Watch me. Look at my mouth. Wait. Tent. 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 Did you see that my mouth? doesn't open, Tent. it's slightly wider. I'm not like this, and I'm more slightly back here and in the throat. That's the vibration sound that you're talking about. Okay. Because you know when we talked Tent. about the vibration Tent. of the consonants and things, you're using your throat mm -hmm. to vibrate. So that's what you're saying is the vibration sound. Okay, okay. so te also you have to think that the English plosives like pop and tent we do more than the Americans. Do you remember when I said they blow out a candle in England and they don't do it in America? So we mm -hmm. go pop, and they'll go like pop. Mm -hmm. And I say tent, and they'll say like tent. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? The second T is let's put in better. Or even little. Let's go back to little. Just go back on the thing. So let's have a listen for the T in the middle of little. Press them both, but listen for the T. Little. 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 That's what I said. Okay. Little. So you tell me what's the difference. Sounds like... No, you tell me what the difference is. Or you tell me what's the difference. I made a mistake. Did you hear that? What is the difference? Okay. The, the T's in America sounds like a D. In the middle of the word. The or if you're using joining two words together, when you're joining... The two words together, it makes it like one word if you're doing the liaison. So, if we have, we'll have writer, 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 or rider, rider, better, 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 better. Okay, the next change for American T is so we have a 30. So, the first one is slightly different intent. Then, the second one. We have like a D in the middle of the word. The third one is when we have it next to the consonant in the middle of the word mm -hmm. and it goes to like almost nothing. So in English, you will have atmosphere. Atmosphere. And in American, you may well have, say, atmosphere. Um, eh, eh. Atmosphere. 
So instead of, it goes to like a nothing, a question mark. Okay. Or, a t- or, a t- or a T with a question mark. So it goes to almost nothing yes. or nothing. So I'll say atmosphere. Atmosphere. And they'll say atmosphere. Atmosphere. Not all, but some will say atmosphere. Et. That's okay. not a T. That's a fucking question mark. Okay. Let's put atmosphere in your dictionary and see if I'm right. Don't believe me? You test it. Atmosphere. And with the American, you are hearing what you think is a vibration because they use their throat to speak when an English person doesn't. Atmosphere. 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 Yes. He's doing a slight T with a question mark, but he could go further and do a question mark only thing because he's quite posh. Maybe certain accents or certain people are not posh do it even more. Okay. So, it will... Yacht. Listen, don't press the American yet, don't press the American yet. Let me try and see if I can get it right. So, yacht. She's very posh. Yeah. Yacht. Yacht. This is the vowel. Look, yacht. Then he'll go to ya. And yeah. he's, uh, he's not, you, his right's a full T, but I'm saying yeah. it's not a full yeah. T. It's a half T. Okay? okay. Let, me hit, let me do the American, and then you listen to him. See what he does. Ya. Yacht. Ah, he's doing a full T there. Okay, mm-hmm. because he's quite posh. But some Americans will yes. say, yeah. Now, so, the difference is that they make it longer than eight. Yes, yeah. exactly. This is a single o, yeah. and this is a long yacht. But he's doing a t- full T. He's saying, yacht, yacht. But some Americans will say, some yacht. Americans... Yacht. But okay, some Americans different. will not hardly say the T there. They'll say, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Like there's nothing there. Like you say Madrid and you don't pronounce the final D. Okay. But what you're hearing is this speaking from the throat and the chest with the Americans. And you're hearing people like me using the face. And when you're an actor and you have to learn the American accent, you have to learn these changes, but you also have to learn the general principle that you get your mouth a bit like a ventriloquist, you start to go back and you use your throat. So in, you'll just start, you know trying to like talk like that like nothing comes out you don't use your mouth and then yeah. all of a sudden you start to sound like you know no I prefer the British accent however the L is uh, but it's not L it's the D little 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 no, it's not little it's little it sounds like more like the supermarket yeah. little little they probably mm-hmm. say little mm-hmm. but in English we will say go to, go to can Maybe. and they'll say they've got a cans cans and cans, in, sa- in fa- south of France, can, but it sounds a bit more like Ken's, as in Ken and Barbie. Ken. So they do lots of changes, and it's very confusing for people like you because the, if you ask a normal English person, they'll just say, oh, it's funny, American, we don't. You, you've got to analyse it like this so you can see each specific thing you do. Ah, that's what they're doing. It's not that I do it wrong. So the, what do we want to learn from this? You're not doing it wrong. You're doing it right. They do it they're not doing it wrong, they're doing it a different way. Okay. Like in Argentina, they do a different thing. It's not wrong, it's just Argentinian. Okay, so what we do? We have 50 minutes. Okay, so why don't we do checking the English sounds and comparing them to the Spanish sounds? Sounds good. That's, that's that's a useful thing for us to do. Yeah, we did that a long time ago. Maybe we can review as well the Chedundia. The, again, the infinitive and the... Um, Which would you prefer to do now? No, this? this is okay. What would you prefer? And the I and G and two another day? Yes. Okay. So, we have the same sound for this vowel, but in English, what's the difference? The length. Yes. So... Sit. Theta. Yes. Then here, in English, we have the single length one, when it's at the end of the word. So... Happy pipa. And company, same as Spanish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here, this is a different sound, as in shit. It's short and it doesn't exist in Spanish. So you don't want to go sheet, like in Spanish. You want to say shit. And here? Pipa. Pipa. Yeah. It's an Pipa. English name. Pipa. Pipa. Okay. Next one, same as Spanish. So? Ten. Yeah. Next one, same as, basically the same as Spanish. Mam. Yes. 
Next one does not exist in Spanish. Down. Next one, no Spanish. Burger. Double length. Burger. Yes. No Spanish. Gata. No Spanish. Ka. Good. Similar to Spanish. Cook. This is the one we had before in the sound. Mm -hmm. What word were we looking at before? We had this before. Then we have double length, doesn't exist in Spanish. Caught. 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 Doesn't Spanish, no Spanish. Bull. No, short. Wood. Wood. Wood and wood, the same, like for the trees. Wood. No? Wood. Mood. Moon. So it's the same as the Spanish, but it's double length. Mm-hmm. Okay. Diphthongs. Fear. Fear. Fair. Fair. Fuel. Fuel. Look, we had this before, no? Yes. How? Cow. Basically, very similar to Spanish. Cow. Cow. Home. Home. Similar to Spanish. Look, A and A-E. Yeah. No? Day. De day. Similar to Spanish. Buy. Buy. Similar to Spanish. Coil. 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 Consonants. Okay, these are the English consonants. Pen. Same. Boxer. It's very similar. Can be the same. Hmm. Ten. Ten. Same. Dead. Same, Dead. but just notice that you at the end start to fuck up. No, yeah. in Spanish it's right, in English it's fuck up. Yes. Same. Camera. One sil two syllables. Camera. 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 Same. Getter. Same. Form. Lover. Yes. In normal Spanish, standard Spanish in Spain, you don't have it, but the Americans they do. Okay. Uh, funk. Yeah, same as Spanish. But yeah. then you have the vibration. Then. Good. Sister. Same as Spanish, yes. Yes. No, it's the big one. Prize. Good. So this is Catalan. Cash. Caixa. Cash? Exactly. Yeah. Same. Same as Catalan yes. or Balenciato, Mallorquino. Yeah. Leisure. Good. That's good. How? Different. You don't have a problem with this. You don't go, I am happy. Uh. No, you don't do that like some of the yeah. Spanish people. Okay. Chat. Same. Chat. But you don't have this one. Badge. Good. Same. M meeting. Same. Ernest. Doesn't exist. Morning. This one is difficult for me. Morning. List. Okay, so in English it can be the same, and, it's, and in Spanish you can do a different one because you have the second double R, then you have the big R. So it can be the same, it, but in, Sp in Spanish you do make a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Race. Race. No, rare. Ra no, raid, no? Rare. No, rare. Race. Race. Raid. Uh, raid. Okay, same. Oh no, hang on a second. When do you have W in Spanish? You don't have it? No. No. When? You don't have it. When? When? The only time you could say that you do have a W is when you have the UO, no, cuanto. No? Yeah. You could say there's a W there. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could say it's just the C U A, or you could say it's a W. Okay. So, this is the onion. Onion. It's the same as the Spanish. But you do it with a Y or a double L. We do it with other funny things like Europe. Okay. Where the fuck is the Y there? Europe. Onion. Onion. But I don't understand. Onion is like the Spanish, no? Onion. Yes, it's, it's mm. just like the Spanish onion. here. Onion. Ah, onion. No? It's not onion, it's onion. 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 Let's write okay. it. Let's write it. So, you spell onion to me. O? No, not O, not O, no, it is, Onion. don't think about the writing, think about the sound. Yes, O. So it's, O? O, uh, I think it's an uh. O, well, that's enough. Onion, uh, onion, okay, O, uh, vale, O, M, and then G, yeah. The Y? Onion, Y, onion, and then, a schwa. 
Yes. I was thinking. I was thinking. Is this a schwa too? But it's a two-syllable word and it has a schwa at the end, so I don't think it can possibly be an onion. No, it's not an onion. It's an onion with the stress here. So this cannot be a schwa. I was thinking it sounds a bit like a schwa, but it can't be because it has to be a full stressed syllable. Similar to schwa, this. Up, onion. Okay, onion. That's it. Okay. But the Y is the same as the normal Y as in Spanish. With the Y, there is a debate in Spanish as to whether your double L is yeah. the same as the Y. Some people say it's different, some people say it's this thing, okay. which is a funny Y. Okay. Other people say it's the same. Yeah. Historically, okay. they were different, Onion. now they're probably the same. Okay. okay? What do you think you did? How do you think you did on the, on the consonants? I think it's okay. Yes. How did you do on the diphthongs? I think it was okay. Yes, and the vowels? Is uh, I had to think in there more. Think there more, but did you get any mistakes? Make any mistakes? No. No. So we're happy. This is far better than it was before. Yeah. And we're doing all this complicated shit. It looks like some kind of scientific experiment. People say, oh, what is this shit? And look, you understand it all. You go here, you understand. Mm -hmm. This is far better than before. Yeah, three years now, three years already, how long? Yeah, but you didn't lose too three much years. with your six months out, yeah. with your baby things. You That's make good. Your, you make yourself happy, you didn't lose too much. That's good. Though. And you've got to think that at the moment your brain's not working because you don't sleep and you're still okay. Mm -hmm. So when your brain starts to work because you get eight hours sleep without stop, imagine, maybe you're going to be even better than before. Well, we need to work a little bit more on the... Um pronunciation to the accent of the word, the stress of the word. I agree to make sure that I put the stress... And to sounds more natural. That's what I'm missing. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. Run through some quick infinitive plus ing. Okay. Just tell me the I adore going. I can't stand doing. Yes. I, have, I, have, I adore leaving earlier. Leaving earlier? Leaving earlier. I can, I can stand eating chocolate anymore. Chocolate? Chocolate. 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 That's it. Yes. Quicker. I, I don't mind uh, smoking marijuana. Pause and then quick when you go. Okay, so mm. you pause, think what you're going to say, then be, okay. be more dynamic, not thinking mid-sentence. Okay. I, I'll do it. I finished eating. Pause. Think, then go. That okay. way you're more dynamic. Okay. I enjoy drinking water. I finish, home, I finish working today. I hate wake, waking up early in the morning. I like writing, reading books. I want you to stop before you start, and I want you to go more dynamically and less hesita hesitating okay. on the speaking. Because okay. it sounds like you're sort of thinking about what you're going to say. Yes. I look forward to meeting you. Pause. Go. I love eating chocolate. I prefer doing tomorrow. Doing it tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, that's what we want. I said to the person I did the voiceover on Saturday, I said, listen, don't worry, I'm going to do lots of pauses, they're too long. Mm -hmm. That means I'm more dynamic when I go. Okay, no problem, and they delete them. Mm -hmm. Okay, two plus infinitive. I'll do the first one. I agreed to finish this earlier. Cut my chunk. I, I agreed to finish this earlier than you said. Okay, I agreed to finish it earlier. I choose to go on Sunday. Dare means? Do you dare do it? I care, no? No, no. Do you dare to do it? I have to do it? No. I don't know. If you're scared of something, I don't dare do it. I do dare do it. Dare to be different. I don't know what it means. It means summon up the courage to do it. Huh. Dare to be... In the ICS in the UK, they have a, a symbol which is who dares wins. In Spanish? Quien se atreve, gana. 
Ah, uh, okay. Is okay. the SAS they're like the secret special oh, yes, military okay. James Bond sexy voice? Uh, why you didn't use their the infinitive? Would you dare to win? Who dares wins? Yeah. Who dares to win? You could do it there. You could do it oh, there. Okay. But here we're talking about ing and two. Okay. And it's a very specific expression used as a sort of campaign slogan. Just do it, Nike. Okay, just do okay. what? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A la Madrid. What's that mean? You know, I don't know. You okay. see what I mean? Yeah, okay. but a good question. Yes, next one. I decide to travel. I expect to come. I forget re to read. You hesitate to forget. No. Boom, pause, go. Okay. I have to go. That's it. I have to cook. I hope to sleep. I learn to read. And now, to listen. I learn to last listen. minute, we want some beautiful intonation, thinking about what you're saying, okay. make it sound nice. Because at the moment, it's correct, but it's not good enough. We need okay. beautiful. Give me something. I don't care acting. Yes. I manage to, to drive. I need to eat. I offer I offer to support. I promise. I refuse to go there if you talk to me like that. Mm -hmm. You next one. Okay. It seemed to be nasty. I used to go to football, but I got bored. I want to have some chocolate. I would like to give you chocolate, but it's going to make you into a fat piggy. Yes, I would love to have some additional chocolate. Even. <laughs> I would prefer you to eat lettuce. Okay. I would hate to, ha to eat lettuce. That's no. a good game, because if I give you... It's acting is reacting, and I give you one verb, and you give me the next verb, no? Okay, hmm. we're finished for today. There we have two plus minutes. Advise her to leave with the two plus infinitive. Then someone two plus two plus infinitive. Help him to look. Then you can have the ones with no change in meaning. Begin playing, begin to play. Continue singing, continue to sing. Start singing, start to sing. Same. Okay. Then we have a change in meaning. Remember to watch or remember watching. Remember watching is in the past. Remember to watch is don't forget in the future. Stop leaving. No, yeah. you don't leave anymore. Stop to leave. You stop something else to leave. Okay. The opposite. Try leaving. Yeah. Or try to leave. If you can send me this, I will appreciate it. But em email, if you don't mind. Yes, you have yeah. this, but I can send it to you again. Yeah, please. Yes. And, and I, I just... have it, but I just to look yes, for yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Then you have it on your WhatsApp, and you can just check I'm it again. I'm going to put uh, it in the computer. I'm going to work on this. It would not be a bad idea for you to look at the next page of Irregular Verbs and just okay. read it once. Uh, how is my past? Is it improving or not? My past. Mm. It would not be. A, it, this would not be a bad idea for us, though. I'm not going to teach you irregular verbs, but to play a game where I say a sentence, you say a sentence, okay. and to practice your pronunciation of the past tense. You okay. see what I mean? Yeah. Because here there's lots of past tenses, and there's lots of T's and D's and all yes. these things. Okay. To practice your pronunciation, just using this as a basis. Yes, because something I miss as well is the 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 past. I really know to put there. So we will write this down for next week, the okay. 23rd, and we will use irregular verbs, <laughs> verbs as base for speaking, mm -hmm. and practice for past tenses, mm -hmm. pronunciation. Because it doesn't matter what we do, we can talk about your baby, we can talk about irregular verbs, but what we want to be doing is we want to be constantly, ch co yeah. constantly checking your intonation, that it sounds good, it doesn't sound like an English lesson. Perfect. It's not just like an... Because just a fucking English lesson, this is no good for you. You've got to sound like yeah. a dynamic manager. Yes. Do they pay you a fortune?